Hello, and welcome to Midlight Labs. This is our first Alaska vlog, um, which we're super excited for. So I'm Courtney, this is my mom. Robin. And we are going to be taking our Alaska cruise. We get on the plane to Vancouver tomorrow, and we're super excited. Um, one thing of note, this is not our first Alaska cruise. We cruised to Alaska on Holland America in 2010. This okay. is my first time doing the vlogging, so sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. We are new vloggers. This is our first time really trying to do this. Uh, we're really excited. We understand that this is a once in a lifetime trip for so many people and we're very fortunate to have gotten to do this twice. Uh, we're not gonna cover all of this typical Disney Cruise Line stuff probably. We're not gonna do the deck parties. We don't expect to do the deck parties. They're not really our thing. Um, but we're looking forward to seeing a lot of really cool things, seeing the beauty of Alaska and the glaciers. We're gonna cover other things, but we're not gonna cover the things that a lot of other vloggers out there have. So we may not do all of the Oceaneer, uh, the Oceaneer Club. We may not do Vibe, Vibe, uh, Edge. We're not gonna do all the kids clubs because there's a lot of other channels out there that you can go to and go see. So what are we going to cover? We're gonna see things, eat things, drink things, play trivia, and just have fun and relax. That's really our goal. Um, so we're really excited. We're doing two DCL excursions because we're doing Mendenhall through, D for Disney, through Disney Cruise Line. Okay. And we're doing the Dawes Glacier excursion, which we're really excited for. So we'll see if we get to do them both because fingers crossed. The weather. weather has, we're forecasted for rain. Um, <laughs> Different from SoCal. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> so we're just getting ready for our COVID test, which we have in about 20 minutes. But we wanted to be a little upfront with you about some challenges that we've had already. Um, we are flying WestJet and my mom was trying to check us in. So I'm gonna let her give a little details on that. So I went to check us in, I put in all the information, da, 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 and didn't work. And so it says try again. And so I tried again um, on my iPad, still didn't work. I thought, okay, well, let's try it on the phone. Tried it on the phone, still didn't work. So we're just gonna go to the airport early because fortunately we chose to go premium first class, whatever that is. And that means that we already have seat assigned and layer space and we don't have to worry about paying for bags or anything like that. So we're just gonna go with it. We're not too worried about getting our carry-ons on because we are flying premium and they have overhead luggage space reserved for premium customers. I don't know how we got these tickets. I'm excited, but it's only like a three hour flight, which confuses me us. greatly. Yeah, they're gonna feed us. And the other thing is because we're in premium, we probably have a little extra under seat storage. Yeah. So we're good with the check-in not working. Yeah, so we're not too worried about that. But um, we've done all our documents. We yes. have everything we need. We need to get something called an Arrive Can, can which is for Canada. Um, that's all submitted, ready to go. We have our QR code. Once we do our proctor test, we should be okay for that if we have to turn that into anybody. So we're feeling pretty comfortable and pretty safe. So we live in Southern California, sunny Southern California, and we are going through a major heat wave. It is currently September 3rd, 2022 and we are in the midst of a heat wave. Right now in LA, it is apparently 83 degrees. So where I live, it's currently 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It was 102 earlier today, and the heat index is 104. And it's under 30% humidity. It's hot, it's dry, it feels like you step into an oven. My garage was 90 degrees as we were loading the car. And it was sunny. where I live, and where she lives, it's 95 in San Diego. And to add to the fun today, there was an earthquake. Oh yeah, there was an earthquake this morning. <laughs> now, I recognize that for some people who watch this, any sort of earthquake is uh, terrifying. When you live here, you just kind of get used to it. It's still terrifying a little bit. Um, this one was more of a lurch than a smooth one. Um, but it was 3.9, it was about five or six miles away from me. Uh, 3.9 is just enough to kind of go, oh, did a truck like drop yeah. something really heavy right outside my door? Yeah. It's about what a 3.9 feels like. Um, and then you realize that the whole house shook. But yeah, so earthquake, we had an earthquake this morning. 
and 104 degree heat. It's supposed to get up to 108 tomorrow, which we are going to say goodbye, California, and hello, Alaska. So we just took our COVID test and we're clear. Negative COVID test. Cheers. Cheers. Next morning. Good morning. So we just dropped off our luggage at the airport, our checked luggage. We are going to go over in a little bit with our carry-ons. We got our negative COVID test yesterday. We are waiting for them to, we're waiting for them to show up in safe passage. Yeah, that's the big thing is we're waiting for safe passage to update. But with that, um, now it's just a waiting game. I'm really looking forward to it not being a million degrees. It's already what? It's at least 90 degrees outside. It's at least. My watch is 93. Yeah, and it's nine o'clock in the morning. Whew. Alaska's gonna be a real nice break. Okay, so a lot has happened since we last checked in. Got to the airport, got our luggage, took the Sky Train, had some problems with Revolut, got to the hotel. As we were checking in, we ran into another person on the cruise and they told us that the poutine place that we've been recommended was only open for another hour. So it was a quick hop in the car, or hop in an Uber, get to the poutine place, and we have our poutine. So we came to La Belle Patate up on Davy Street, and this is a large poutine traditional. We're very excited. Uh, Yum. Gravy's really good. Yeah. Poutine! So that's day one of Canada. Now we're just kind of shuffling things around, figuring out what we want to bring onto the ship when we embark in the morning, and everything else that can arrive in our room a little later. So, taking it easy, and we're gonna see you tomorrow. And my mom is doing her normal thing. Repacking everything hotel we stay at on the last night or the first night or the middle nights sometimes every night